don't know what to tell you. This is literally the best way to rank up on the server. You cannot tell me otherwise. Hello and welcome to a brand new season of Akuma MC Prisons. This is going to be the final season in 1.8 before their big release coming this December. Now, this release last Saturday, as I'm recording this, is actually the day that it's going up. I have been actually just on AFKing, opening a few things. I want to try and do this prison season a little bit different. Number one, you'll see if I check my PV, I've only kept certain things in here, which a lot of it I'm going to go ahead and use right now. Actually, I'm going to go and use all of it right now because it is the start of the season and I might as well. Now, the reason I did that is because a lot of the openables just take a lot of time, and it's just, it's just annoying. It's better if I do it, you know, in my free time, and then just be prepared with 2.13 Q tokens. I guess I'll open up the skin boxes first, actually. Let me see if I can get a really sick skin to start off this season. Okay, so we got some decent levels into everything, except for Reaper. Obviously, Shadow Clone's my go-to. Tokens, gems, rank XP is just massive. So let me open up these nine uh, 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 tier one attachment boxes, this one tier three, which all kind of gave me bad things. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Guardian's Beam, I mean, Jackhammer's pretty good. Jackhammer and Vein Miner are pretty good, but they're not good right now. I should actually probably put the bad ones in there first. All right, 13 normal pet eggs, please give me something good. Oh, well, that's a new design. Well, hold on a minute. Yo! Dude looks so sick. Okay, okay. So they've made some changes to some of these pets, for one. Like, the Massive Mead pet now has a orb gain boost. So I absolutely want to get one of these guys in my life. Key Master. They actually added a higher chance of finding keys for this as well, which is pretty sick. All right, I got my, my uh, pets organized. Now, before I open these, I wanted to kind of skim through and see if there's anything in the patch notes that might be important to know. But I don't think there is. To sum it up, we've got some changes to Ascensions, Bubble Gum... Pet adjustments, which we just went over, milestone adjustments, skill adjustments, which I'm not entirely sure. This one actually might be pretty important. Oh, they basically just added a few things to the enchant skill tree, which is actually not that exciting. Some loot adjustments, battle pass rework, quality of life changes. Like, it was nothing too crazy. It was really just a season of balancing. The pet one is probably the one I think is the coolest because we get a brand new orb gain boost on the massive mead pet, which I think makes it a lot better than it was. I've got Two beautiful V-Kit crates here. I'm gonna go and open them up and see what I get. Upgrade some enchants, get into some mining. Eight robot generators. Okay, let me go and open up this beautiful uh, last V-Kit crate. Here we go. Give me something good. Pet tray tickets. Yay. Before I get into, uh, into some mining, I realized one thing I uh, made a mistake on. I'm not gonna be starting with mining yet. Because I got some challenges I can kind of fly through. I gotta mine 100 blocks. Well, okay, but I still gotta do slash help, which is very good if you want to learn about the server, and slash tutorial, which you can use to earn a free god rank if you're new to the server. By the way, all the information is down in the description below. Come join the number one prisons and skyblock server of 2024. I am maxing out both. I'm gonna go ahead and max out token finder. Thinking I go and max out token merchant. Anything that's gonna get me tokens is gonna be good right now. Key finder, why not? Uh, let's do meteor shower. And you know what? I'll go ahead and do it now. I feel like that's a good change. So I use about a Q tokens for all of my enchants so far. Also going to go ahead and get at least 500 levels into Jackhammer. Nothing too crazy. And I guess let's officially get to mining. So then now I can turn that in. Oh, I forgot to also activate these. That's okay. I'll do that here in a second. Next, I need to do slash armor. Pickaxe level 10, which is our done. Uh, all of this is done. I just got to do slash armor. I'm pretty sure I already have all these done again. So I'm kind of just waiting at this point. It's just like the block's mine. That's it. I'm also gonna do something smart this season. Um, and unless Jackhammer, uh, like, you know, doesn't proc a lot at some point, I'm probably gonna just ignore upgrading Jackhammer. That actually reminds me, I do have an attachment slot. Because I realized last season, I was kind of choking my game a little bit. I was ha I had too much Jackhammer proc chance, and I was getting less blocks mined in reality. Um, which made getting 100,000 for the mortar very difficult. So I want to try this season leaving it at roughly 1,000 um, with the 8% increase and just kind of see what happens. I had a great idea, guys, and hear me out. I saved a lot of rare grenades this time. I didn't save really anything else. I could save small airstrikes, which I'll probably use some of these in a little bit. I'm actually going to go and use them now, um, but I want to go and reset my mind. I want to use some of these rare grenades. They're my least, like, or I guess grenades in general are part of my least favorite explosives. I think RPGs and grenades are kind of tied. Like, they, they, they both just don't really have any purpose. 
Not gonna lie, this is not really ranking me up as fast as I thought it would. It takes like, what, four grenades? I was hoping like two or so. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna throw one small airstrike just to see what happens. Okay, well, that doesn't count because it reset my mind. Let me rank it up one more time. I say this almost every season, but if you didn't know, when you rank up your mind and you get a pouch, the next rank up, as soon as you rank up, no matter, like, if I broke one block and ranked up, it would still reset the mind, basically, which is really annoying, but it's whatever. Instantly. Dude, that is insane. Like, these airstrikes are actually busted. But unfortunately, it's just not really perfect because it's too small of a mine. So I'm gonna mine to try and rank it up that way for a bit, and then I'll swap back over to the grenades. At least I got it up one tier. I also realized a big mistake I've been making, or at least I made this season, which I didn't realize. So the way Reclaim works, it sets your pickaxe level to 30. If you're below 30 and you get any levels, it'll just straight up set you to 30 with no experience. What I realized is, I claimed my V-Kit, which gives me five free pickaxe levels, first, then did reclaim. So it set me to 30. I should be set to 35. So that sucks. You know, I looked that up today, and I was like, oh, I made a big mistake on that, so that sucks. Oh yeah, what about my challenges? I just realized. I haven't checked them in. Oh yeah, I did it. Nice. There's also one very important thing I forgot to mention that is uh, involved with challenges that I'm going to be showing you here in a second. And I did this last season, and if you watch that episode, you know exactly what I'm about to do. And I'm going to tease you until, you know, the right time. Apply one skin fragment to your pickaxe. Well, I need one to do that, which means I'm going to have to open, uh, op uh, uh, open up some keys or something. These should surely give me a skin box, right? Yeah, there they are. Nice. And you know what? I've been getting rid of the uh, wood plasma torches. I don't know what the, 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 the vintage plasma torches. I've been getting rid of these. I've been getting rid of them, though, because they've been filling my, my inventory here, and it was just, it was too much, so, yeah. I think after this challenge, I'll probably go ahead and tell you what it is, but I'm not 100% certain. It really depends on what the next set of challenges are. Like, if it's something I can slam out real fast, then I don't want to. The reason being is because I just want to go ahead and do it all at once. Rank 67, and pickaxe level almost 45. I need five more, and I can get some new enchants. I'm absolutely gonna max those, well, max one of those in new enchants out. You know what? I just realized, I think I discovered something in the previous season that I did with plasma torches that I should have done this one, but I'm gonna do the stone ones because I got rid of the wooden ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And this should be a lot better than airstrikes early on at least. Oh, it's it's just insane. This is definitely the fastest way to rank up at the start of a new season. Oh, and another new tier. Guys, I, 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 I mean, I don't want to tell you, this is literally the best way to rank up on the server. You cannot tell me otherwise. Dude, remember when I was like 50, 69? Dude, I'm making so much prox. Well, I guess I didn't say I was oh, I'm making so much prox, but like, you know, I was thinking it because wow, I was like, wow, dude, I'm doing so good. Now look at me. All right, well, what about my challenges? Did uh, did they finally finish? They sure did. Oh, I didn't even look at my new challenges. Oh, I gotta get to, well, I gotta get to 50 before I can do this. So you know what? I think now is the time to show you guys what you can do with all of these uh, challenges that you complete. Not only do you get rewards and such, but you also get skill points. You can see that I've got four. You can use them for different things like token boost, gem boost, pet XP boost, token boost, pickaxe XP boost, gem boost, and so on and so forth. So they added two new enchant tree ones. I just can't remember which one it was. It was nuke proc and maybe alien strike or meteor. I can't remember. I never really go down that tree. I usually go down the currency, which is what I'm going to do now. So we got a 2% token boost, 2% pickaxe XP, and 1% gem boost. By the way, guys, let me know down in the comments below what are you most excited for next season or what do you want to see in the next season? Personally, I'm not even sure what to expect, but I'm a big fan of dungeon-like features, and I would love to see something like that done in the future. And pickaxe level 50! Also, two pouches unlocked, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and max out Lucky, I think. Right? And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is spend the rest on Vein Miner. I feel like that is the best choice. Oh, and because I maxed out Lucky, my challenges are done again. I'm just waiting for it to adjust. Oh, I just realized Shadow Clone proc. Yo, let's go. I haven't upgraded this guy at all. I went through, claimed every bit of tokens I had in my milestones and such. I've got 100 trillion. Let me do slash Miner. And I want to go and upgrade this guy. So, first of all, speed. That's the number one upgrade I always get because it just makes him work faster, which is what he needs battery it's pretty cheap so 10 levels into it might as well and then i think the rest i mean scavenger's good but i think i want to get him some jackhammer and i'm gonna go ahead and spend my 100 trillion to do it man i'm actually not that far off of rank 200 can i do that i mean i if i don't 
quite get it through mining, I could do it through airstrikes or plasma torches. Which I might do. Did my challenge ever recognize that it was done? It might have, but I might have missed it. It is done, okay. Oh, I should also make sure I use my skills, huh? Bop. That is a 5% pickaxe XP boost for me. Nice. It's actually kind of funny. I was just thinking back and like... I've made so many changes across my, like, schedule and planning and everything across Twitch and YouTube and everything. Originally, I was gonna do streams of Minecraft, which I still was doing. And the original idea was Saturday was gonna be my day. I was gonna do two hours of three different things, so a six-hour stream. And then I eventually s slowly whittled it down to three hours, my normal stream time, and just did one hour of Minecraft. Because now, uh, now the schedule's changed again. I'm rarely streaming Minecraft. I do it, like, on special occasions. I was supposed to do the newest uh, Season of Akuma, uh, but I was also doing it for a different server. But they ended up having to push back, and this new season came out. But this new season isn't hype enough on its own, in my opinion. Only for the fact that it's just basically a filler season until the next big season. Which you better believe I'm going to be streaming the next big Akuma MC season on Twitch and here on YouTube I just also have 1.4 million gems. Um, let's do that. Yeah. It's a good idea. Oh, yeah, I also got gem robots, didn't I? I forgot about that. Ah, what a handsome lad. Hard at work over there. Just mining away. Beautiful. Oh, and also, since I spent all those tokens... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this gives a gems boost. Absolutely beautiful. One more beautiful rank, and I'll be at 200. Hey, we did it, guys! Yay! New mine, new mine, new mine. Also, I hit 76. I should check what enchants I got. So, I unlock gem finder, and I did see I do also unlock orb finder. So, by next time, I should be able to max out orb finder. That is 100% my first priority, then gem, uh, gem finder. I'm only a little bit off of pickaxe level 80 which is absolutely massive so far i've gotten to rank 214 pickaxe level 79 maxed out most of my enchants and mined 20,000 blocks on top of the challenges we crushed but i think that this might be the perfect place to call this video quits come join the server guys akuma mc number one prison server all the information down in the description below and if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like subscribing for more and i'll see you guys in the next one